Good morning. Welcome to the Adventist Community Church, where everyone is welcome. And that's what that video was just portraying. Aren't you glad for that? Anybody coming to church exhausted today? Anybody coming to church tired and worn out from the week? Um, we are all are. We are just glad to be here where we can settle in and worship with God a little bit this morning. Worship with us today. Amen. I now invite the children to come down for a children's story. Hi, kids. Come on up on the stage here. Come on over here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey. your help today to do this story, okay? Are you guys listening? I need your help. And what I want is I want a group of five or six girls, okay? Okay, come on up. Stand up here. We're going to stand over here. Got any more? Okay. Come on, come on. One more. Come on, Lindy. Come on up. One more, one more. Anybody else want to join? Whoops. Here we go. Okay. No one else? Okay. You guys, I want you to form a circle holding hands, and I want you to start doing quietly 
Ring Around the Posy. Do you know that song? Okay, but move away from the guitar. I don't want you to hit the guitar. Come over here. Okay, now I need like four or five guys. Okay, come on over here. Come on over here. We're going to go clear over here. And I want you guys to build, you know how to build a pyramid? Where three guys are on the bottom and four, two guys on top. We might have too many people. Okay, that's okay. I'll tell you what. You guys sit down here and you're playing trucks. Okay, sit down in a circle and you're playing trucks. We're not going to build a pyramid. That would be dangerous, okay? (laughs) All right. So what happens? Go ahead. Keep turning, you guys. You guys play trucks. You guys got for 10 trucks, okay? You're playing. Make a circle. Make a circle. You got to explain this to boys, okay? Make a circle, okay? And then you're playing trucks. Pretend like you got a truck. You guys doing the circle thing. Come on. Let's go. Circle, circle. Now, what happens when they're busy playing and... And somebody calls them and wants their help, okay? What if I said to Lindy, and I was Lindy's dad, and I said, hey, Lindy, come here. And she'd say, no way, I'm having fun. Do you think Lindy would do that? <laughs> She's got a smile on her face, okay? Or, or what if I said, Wyatt, would you come here? And what, what should he say? What? I, okay, I say, so let's practice. We're going to play a game, okay? Lindy, come here. Yay, good job, Lindy. Okay, now you can go back. I appreciate that, Lindy. Okay, Wyatt, come here. All right, come here. Come here, come here. Get, get. <laughs> this is how we clean the church floor. <laughs> good job, man. Give me five. All right. So, we, okay, you guys can come back and sit down now. You're already sitting, but come back and sit down. Sometimes when your parents call, do you ever feel like saying no? Do you ever feel like ignoring your parents when they call? I don't want to go. I don't want to do that. But when you're obedient to your parents, what do you say? Yes, I'm coming. Yes, I'm coming. I want you to listen to the sermon today and see if you can hear Pastor Ryan say, yes, I'm coming. Okay? Let's pray together. Thank you, Jesus, for this day. Help us to always say yes to you. Amen. All right, you guys go back to your seats now. My name is Becca, and this is my husband, Kevin, (laughs) and uh, we've been asked by Gloriana and Daniel Adams to play a special song today for Wesley and Weston's baby dedication, and this song is by J.J. Heller, and it's called I Get to Be the One, and as um, you listen to the words, it's just a beautiful song talking about the gift that babies bring into our lives and getting to be the one to hold them, to love them, to be with them for all the first moments. And um, yeah, it's a really special time. So we're very excited for you guys.
Daniel and Glory and their kids up uh, to join us because it's a time of dedication today. <laughs> Ryan's got an extra kid today. <laughs> All right. So if you haven't met Daniel and Glory or Wyatt and Weston and Wesley. Let's see. This is Wyatt. This is Weston. And this is Wesley. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> we are excited for you guys to be here because this is a time to put your kids first um, and foremost in front of Jesus. We have the story of Jesus' parents taking Jesus to the temple and how he was prayed over and he was blessed and everything went well. I, I like to pick a scripture that goes with a, with a child's name. And so Weston's middle name is Buck. Here's the scripture. Because a buck is a deer. As the deer longs for streams of water, so I long for you, O oh God. Weston, it's our hope that as you grow up, you will long for Jesus every day of your life, okay? Yeah. And then Wesley's middle name is Clay. And he's what? He's just over a year old, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So he's a big boy and a big handful, three boys for mom. But his middle name is Clay. Um, and I want to read a scripture it says, for God who said, let there be light in the darkness has made this light shine in our hearts. Um, so we know the glory of God that is seen in the face of Jesus Christ. We now have this light shining in our hearts. 
But we ourselves are like fragile clay jars containing this great treasure. This makes it clear that our great power is from God and not from ourselves. That's my hope for little Wesley, that he grows up understanding that his strength is not in himself or in his dad or in his mom. His strength is in Jesus. So. And one of the things I appreciate about this family, I told Daniel this a while back. I said, I have so much respect, and I use Daniel as a... um, as a role model for me. I talked to my friends who have kids. I was like, I have a friend who has a Prius and has three kids in the back of his Prius and they come to church in that Prius. And I, uh, I've always, I just, that's just something that I've, I'll remember always about you, Daniel, and your family. Um, but the thing that, that we have the privilege of as a church family here at the Adams Community Church is we have a privilege of journeying with every family that walks through the doors, whether they're members here or not, um, because we are their larger family. Um, So part of the dedication that Pastor Roger and I talked about and and that we want to focus on today is is not only the commitment of of Gloriana and Daniel, of you guys committing to journeying with your kids, but also the larger church family that we all commit to journeying with them as well. Um, That as we see a, a random child one of these three wandering the halls that you don't just say, oh, there goes a nice little child. <laughs> but you go and you say, hello, where's your mother or your dad? And then you help that little child on the way. And as they get older, like some of our youth uh, and some of us older youth, we can all use support on our journey in life, can't we? Um, so can you wave at this family to say that you will support them in the journey? Amen. Yeah. Um, we want to yeah. We want to pray for you. We have a, a certificate for you for both of them, but uh, and make sure you get Ryan signed the second one because he only signed one. Um, <laughs> but he's a little distracted today. He's got to preach. Um, but I also I wrote a letter to each of the boys um, that you can save. I don't think they're going to read it today, um, but they might read it in a few years as just a kind of a reminder of dedication and. So we'll give those to you afterwards, but let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you so much uh, for this dear family. God, thank you for, for building them and giving them these three young boys that they are now a family that will do great things for you. Uh, God, I ask that you'd bless these parents. Uh, You give them wisdom and direction in their lives. And Lord, as a larger church family, may we also be a support and encouragement and a solid family for them. We pray in Jesus' name, amen. Father God, I just want to echo that prayer for Glory and Daniel, that you would give them wisdom and patience and courage to raise these three young men. And I pray for Wesley and for Weston, and I'll just include Wyatt in that as well you bless them with your presence as they seek to grow with you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Let me give this to you.
pray that we'll all be willing to be willing to let God work in our lives. Have a great Sabbath. God bless.